Today we're going over the hand portion of the Notion Art Study Guide. In it, we have Marco Bucci teaching us how to study hands. Let's go! So first, he gave us some plain things to draw. Planes that replicate the front and back of a hand. Oh wait, sorry. Front and back of the hand. To practice drawing the complex, not so complex shape of the hand. The hand, I'd like... Like, it's not, it doesn't stay flat. There's like a, like a curve to it. This part's kind of hard to see. This part of the hallmark, so we're gonna move on from this. Marco also explains what the key elements of the hand are. In our notion, I've asked you guys to trace over some photos and locate these things. I probably shouldn't have said trace. I meant to say draw these things over some reference photos. Doing this practice will help you become more observant of the different parts of the hand. The L shape of the thumb side. Muscle groups on the palmer side, which is this like big ball here. Smaller, round shape here. The knuckle line that goes down to the rest of the fingers and this like Wi-Fi looking shape. And finally, the most important part, probably, Marco says to practice some hand studies. He says that these hand studies should be done quickly and that quantity is better than quality. He says that you'll become better faster by practicing more hands or practicing drawing more hands rather than spending all of your time um, trying to perfect a single one. Here I'm adding some minimal shadow. I feel like it gives some depth to the hand and it helps bring out some of um, the form. With this one, I started off with the thumb first because I felt like it, it just stood out to me um, the most here. I'll just keep Keep adjusting and readjusting until I feel like the sketch is good enough without spending too much time on it. Here I'm refining the sketch that I had before by adding some more defining lines. And then this is me using the warp tool because I felt like a lot of things were out of place. Lower the opacity, made the fingers a little shorter because it felt too long to me. I'm just cleaning up my sketch and um, yeah. Adding some more of that shadow in places that I feel like need it. If you notice, you'll see that I add some more uh, lighter shadows over some areas that I've missed that I think I should have gotten first, to be honest. I feel like I shouldn't have added the darker shadows first, but I get a little better with that as we go on. <coughs> yeah, this was one I was pretty happy with. I felt like there was a lot of... it, it felt like it had structure to it. Um, with this one, I had a lot of trouble with it, to be honest, because the shadow on that, on the, on the muscle right here, on the thumb, it felt round to me in the photo, but in the drawing, I felt like it was really hard for me to replicate, so I definitely, uh, yeah, it was just a little rough, but it wasn't too much of a big deal. Over time, it got a little better, but to be honest, I think I did my best to just move on because I felt like I did what I could, and then I added some darker shadows um, in areas I felt like needed them, and then moved on. This one was also a difficult one for different reasons. I, uh, for some reason, it was harder for me to get the form correct using the shadows. It's honestly not my favorite. Like Marco said, the more the merrier, so yeah, moving on. This hand was probably my favorite. Hand. I felt like I had a solid sketch, so putting down the shadows felt like felt like child me drawing in a coloring book. And it's always so much easier when your sketch is more accurate to your reference. And it was a lot easier with this one because the shadows felt more simple. Dark side underneath the hand and minimal shadow on the very right side of the hand on the outside. With some parts that are, are more in light, aka the highlights on the thumb and the index finger that I left untouched. I'm sure if I went back to all of these hands that added some highlights, they would come out looking more realistic but that wasn't really my goal here to create realistic looking hands so I feel like for me at least adding highlights to these hands would be me spending more time on quality versus quantity. That might change later when I become faster at drawing hands but this is good enough for me right now. Good job to everyone that has been submitting their homework. Every time you guys submit a piece of homework it I don't know it's kind of nice. I feel like we're in a little community. Don't forget our competition information is on this flyer and in the Discord. Also, don't forget to check out 21 Draw and the courses that they have available because they're pretty good. And if you weren't aware already, the competition winners will win um, access to all of their courses for a whole entire year. You'll be judged on how well you've applied the Notion homework to uh, the PC Submit. <sighs> all of that was a mouthful. So um, good luck and see you guys next week. One last thing, thank you to Lilac for being my first coffee supporter. Um, I'm kind of shocked that I actually got a donation to be honest. And for those of you who don't know, I have a coffee that you can donate to by taking me out on a coffee hangout. It'll help me create more free content for you guys. So yeah, uh, see ya.